Assalamu alaikum guys. I hope everybody will be fine. Today in this short video lecture, I would like to guide you about crank bar. That why crank bar provided in the construction of floor beam. So this is the topic for today. So let's get start guys. As you can see guys, this is column C1. And this is other column C1. And this is the span between two columns are clear length. This is called clear span. Suppose the span is 20 feet. So here, guys, you can see this is crank bar. Okay. So when the load applied on the top of this beam suppose these are loads due to this structure load the beam will make a shape same like this like this so here guys we provide crank bar so guys this is crank bar guys you can see this is called crank bar or you can say bent up bar okay so guys this crank bar we provide crank bars are provided to resist negative bending moment or holding moments so guys here you can see this is positive bending moment this and this is negative bending moment here and also you can see negative bending moment, or you can say hogging to resist negative bending moment or hogging we are providing crank bar as you can see guys here we have here the positive bending moment and here we have the negative bending moment so therefore we bend the bar at the upper portion to the distance of l by 4 l by 4 means this is clear span l which is 20 feet so l divided by 4 it means 20 divided by 4 so to the distance of 5 feet we are providing crank bar this one is you can see like this we bend the bar or crank the bar here this is l by 4 distance l by 4 to resist negative bending moment because we have negative bending moment at this place therefore we crank the bar or the place of crank bar we can also provide extra steel rod so i will discuss in next video what is extra steel rod okay so this is crank bar and here guys you can see this steel rod this one this is called development length dl small r sorry ld this is development length so development length make a good bond between steel and concrete so therefore we are providing development length to join the steel reinforcement with column reinforcement okay therefore it will be strong next guys remember this length what should be the length of this crank or what is the length of this crank so this crank length you can get from the formula of so this is called guys d this is depth okay so this is the depth of the beam so you can get this length this one with 0 0.42 d where d is this one so we will minimize or minus concrete cover of top portion and bottom portion then you will get the length of this crank okay so this is very important and this angle should be between 45 to 60 degree this crank uh, can be bent with the degree of or from 45 to 60 degree you can provide this so therefore guys this is very important to provide crank bar to resist negative bending moment when the load applied on the top of this beam so it will create a shape same like this positive bending moment and negative bending moment so in that case guys remember we are providing extra steel rods at the top if you are not able to provide crank bar but i will 
discuss the crank uh, the extra steel rod in next video but this is the process to provide crank bar so the crank bar should be provided to the distance of l by 4 but you are not allowed to provide lapping length at this place lapping length at this place because we have hogging negative bending moment so you are not allowed to provide crank bar okay so where is the best place so i will guide you in next video hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye